Now we'll connect the Night Ride with Ethernet to an Android device. First, we'll connect the Night Ride to power. Next, we'll connect the Ethernet adapter to the Android device. So we've shipped you a Ethernet adapter to USB-C, so connect the USB-C to the Android device, the Ethernet, labeled RJ45, to the Ethernet connector, and then it's very important for the Android device to connect a USB-C with power, so it powers the adapter. When you do so, you'll notice the tablet says that it's charging, and after about a minute, you'll see a red light turn on for the Trailblazer on the back, and on the 360, you'll see a red light turn on in the front. Next, we'll go to Settings, go to Connections, turn off the Wi-Fi, turn on the airplane mode, go to More Connection Settings, and for some Android devices, the Ethernet will be off by default. So turn it on, and you should notice an Ethernet logo showing up in the top of the screen. If you do not see an Ethernet logo, review the connections from the Night Ride, from the Ethernet adapter, and to the device. Sometimes there'll be a pop-up that shows that this connection does not give internet. If that is the case, accept and proceed. Next, open up Chrome. Other browsers will not work and go to 10.4.10.4. And you should get the stream.